Hello and welcome to this new video in the Azure Data Factory playlist. In this video, we will learn about unpivot transformation. Let's get started. So I've already created the pipeline, added data flow activity, and reading the file this time, which we had pivoted in the last video. You may or may not have it, but no worries. I have saved this under Google Drive under 67 folder in Azure Data Factory. You can download this file 67-data.csv. And I can show you the preview of this. This is how it looks. If you re recall, we had pivoted the data by country and then by by country and in group by we had English product name and then aggregated the value. So now what I'm going to do is unpivot the data. Understand what is the operation pivot just to recall so that you have a better sense of this. A pivot operation will transform the values into rows into columns this way. So if you see these values, right, these were in single column in different different rows. Now, whereas unpivot operation, what it will do is unpivot operation as opposed to this one, the values are already there in columns this way into different different columns. Unpivot is the opposite. It will bring the values from different columns into single column into different different rows. However, unpivot is not exact replica or opposite of the uh, rather sorry for the word a replica, maybe not replica, but opposite. It is not exactly the opposite of pivot. The reason is because when you do pivot, pivot also aggregates the data. When it transform, it aggregates the data. So it does that group by. So the data is already aggregated. Why am I telling this is because let's say you start from a raw data, thousands of rows of data, you do a pivot. So obviously it will group by and the reduction of that, the output would be, let's say hundred rows and let's say five columns. But when you unpivot, you will not get those original thousands of rows back. You will only get the number of rows will be equivalent to the number of columns multiplied by rows. So that would be five columns by hundred rows, which will be roughly 500 and it cannot de-aggregate the value because the value has already been aggregated and you cannot go one step back. So this is what we are going to do now, unpivoting. So what I'll do is, since I've already read the data, no casting required in this case, I'll directly jump to unpivot and see the options over here. Let us call this as unpivot data. Now, earlier you had group by, now you will have ungroup by because you're expanding it. Earlier you had unpivot key, here uh, you had pivot key, here it will be unpivot. And similarly, you, here you will have unpivoted columns. So now, I want to keep it simple. On the left hand side, if I see, I just want to keep as it is English product name. In unpivot key, what I want to do is, remember in pivot what we did, we, we pushed the country column into pivot key. Now I want to bring all of these values all of these values, France, Germany, India, UK, US, under a single column called as country. So here you will have to specify that column name. That is why it is asking you to enter the column name. And then column type. I'll keep the column type as string because this will have the values. And it will pick the column names automatically as values. Whatever are there as headers, they will become values. And in unpivot column, what do you want to do? You just want to keep another column. Now, what is this now? So remember when we were doing pivot at the center, we had aggregate values, but now what is going to happen in unpivot is one column for the ungrouped by, which is English product name, another column, which will be generated by unpivoting all the five columns into one column, which will have the country names. And the third column should hold those numeric values of sales. So this is nothing but this section, unpivoted column. So here I will mention that column name should be sales amount. That's it. And let's see. Okay. There seem to be some error. No. So let's refresh. Once you have a look at the data and the output, you will understand. And then we can again compare. So there you go. Only three columns, English product name, country sales. So English product names is nothing but this column ungrouped by fine. And in unpivot key, we had country. So in country, all the values were automatically pulled. Why? Because here it said pick column 
name as values we can also explicitly mention the values just like what we did in pivot and then the third setting was unpivoted columns this will be the sales amount column which will be nothing but those values which is going to hold now have a look at the number of rows 220 and try to just relate the logic the original source had 44 rows of data here you see by five columns one two three four five and if you multiply both 220 so for each column you will have those many rows for product however what's the case is at some values and uh, intersection the values are null and obviously we don't need them so what you can do is in unpivot settings you can just click here in the third step drop rows with null so this is good feature again now you will see the rows will drastically uh, reduce and we should not have any sort of null values let's see so this is just uh, fetching the data and you only have now 83 rows and no null values absolutely so understand unpivot is not exactly the opposite because it will not deaggregate it will only transform from columns into rows and then finally what I can do is write this to sync so let's say sync unpivot create a new data set data like gen2 delimited ds sync unpivot point this to let's say we need an output folder so I'll add a directory over here 67 my container and then let's select this make sure the header is checked okay so we are set then and make sure the single partitioning is on that's fine uh, because we just want the output into a single one and then you can do any of the settings we just don't want to go into much more things right now but let me check one thing is what over here if you look at the unpivot output all of these will be nothing but the string columns but the sales amount will still be string so what you can do is here you see, you see you don't have that option so now what would you do the best thing is go with cast simple so let us call this as cast columns and here I would want to cast the sales amount to double fine refresh just to make sure the preview looks nice and good and then we can push it to sync fine I'll come to sync now and I would also want to just have a look on the final preview before I run the pipeline there you go but uh, maybe here I think incoming stream is cast okay but I don't see this as 1 2 3 uh, 1.2 let's make sure if things are correct here this is fine here as well we have cast columns that's fine okay this is double okay then maybe why I'm not sure why this is not showing here but let's just proceed debug let's wait until this completes so understand how unpivot is different than pivot let's wait done and then I will come back over here in 67 I see that file there you go we have the output 83 rows great one more thing when uh, I would want to do is since we were trying out few things earlier as well when we are in unpivot settings remember and uh, under unpivot key we had mentioned specific values for uh, while pivoting can you do this over here I was just trying this maybe let's see if I mention India over here 
and when I go to data preview here you will get error stating unpivoting will leave four columns orphaned which means those four columns will be not coming or will be orphaned so maybe I'm not sure about this uh, how we could only get specific values for now but maybe if I find I will cover this separately but for time being what you can do is if you really had to filter once you have this data you can do a filter transformation after that so that's it this in this video on on pivot thanks for watching and stay tuned